Kiki here with you and I thought I could just swatch something with you and just have fun. Um, so I wanted to have some portable water cups and um, I've seen Courtney uh, Diaz show some collapsible water cups. Now the ones uh, that I saw that she had, uh, she purchased in a store that does crafting in, in the US and it was seven bucks uh, US but I figured with the shipping and everything it was going to be pretty expensive so I went and checked on Amazon I did find some collapsible cups this set here um, it came with three cups so I'm, I'm keeping one for my traveling and I figured I could use the other two in my craft room and what's fun with them is because they're collapsible they don't take so much room the other thing that's fun with them is that I've got a feeling that it's gonna be more sticky to my surface my glass surface so it's not gonna it's not gonna empty and it's quite a big a lot of water that could be fitted inside this so but it, it folds really small and and tight so I think it's gonna be pretty it's gonna be a lot of fun so there's the peach and the um, green and I've kept the gray upstairs so obviously it's bigger than than these but uh, when folded I can store these in a, a drawer which these won't fit so so there's that and while I was looking for portable stuff I came across this here which was a watercolor set um, not that I needed any new watercolors but um, I this set was only 25 bucks on special there was 20 25 percent 25 or 30 percent off and when I when I looked at it um, it, it comes with this is George Young. don't know this brand uh, it comes with some watercolor paper which is kind of nice and can be fun to play with and then the reason I got it was because there look like there it looks like there's a lot of pinks and somehow for some reason that I cannot explain none of my um, my watercolors seem to have a lot of pinks so I thought for 25 bucks you know what I'm gonna get it and I can play with it um, it has different type of shades than the ones I usually go for and it is it is water uh, solid water paint set so obviously it's made for kids um, but you know I'm a big kid <laughs> it comes with a little brush so that can be fun um, it's the type of brush I'll use because yeah be a beginner here uh, there is a water brush as well so that's kind of fun too I could put this in my in my stash and and use that um, it has a little sponge don't know really why you would use the sponge then this is white watercolor now I don't understand why there's a tube here of the white watercolor um, when you've got white here maybe it's more like a gouache type of texture let's see I'm curious let's uh, see what it looks like yeah it's a bit thicker it's probably more uh, opaque than this one would be so I figured let's go and swash this out so you've got also a drawing pencil a 2B so it's a pretty cool little set um, like I said for for kids uh, but I'm gonna be using it and I thought for this that I could use my the moleskin that I'm using for uh, listing some of my supplies and what's going on and I thought we could use that and swash this out and see how they react and my thoughts about them and if they were worth the 25 bucks I paid which I've got a feeling that they will be because I mean let's be honest 25 bucks it's not a it's not a super big 
investment. Oh, it's my bottle that's making sound. I was wondering what what is that? Okay, so I'm gonna use my little water brush that I always that I use for this. So I'm gonna use this one, which is a really cheap one, and I'm just gonna document this. This is my Moon Man pen. I really don't like that pet so much. This this fountain pen. I find it scratchy. Um, I need to check out. Uh, I've heard of, I've heard of people being able to adjust the nib and stuff. So I need to figure out what they do, uh, if they do something, and yeah. But I, I love the look of it. It's it's amazing and it's perfect for what I wanted it to do, like which is uh, be in this room. Like it's not a fancy pen or anything, and and so. I don't mind it um, being here and it's got uh, some ink that's waterproof which is I'm wondering if that's one of the reasons why it's not liking the ink so much because um, sometimes that can make a difference in a pen I don't know but you can see like it, it does write it's just that I, I find it scratchy like I said, I'm not uh, I'm not an expert in, in pen, but there's some that I that feel better, and this one is not is not one of them. But that's only my personal preference. Now I'm wondering if I should swatch it with this or take a smaller brush. I'm thinking maybe a smaller one. Another cheaper cheap brush, but still wet it and we'll just have go to town and have fun so it's pretty it's a pretty cool uh, feeling on the on the paper this one looks like a neon type of orange and this one doesn't really doesn't show uh, it pulls but I would probably have to layer it more. Like I said, I'm not I'm not an expert in uh, in watercolor, so maybe I'm putting too much water. I don't know, but you can see the other ones are reacting fine. It's just that one that's very. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because of the neon. And this one is a more pale shade of uh, peach. But these are colors like I didn't really have, so it's kind of fun to have different options, you know? Now I've done one, two, three, four, five, so one, two, three, four, five, so I'm here. far it's a pretty good range of uh, different colors. This one is really pale. Oh I like that one. This is very vibrant yellow. And then we've got... Am I doing the same? Uh, so I've got eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and I'm doing the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, I'm not sure I was doing the same. But anyway. Yeah, it wasn't the same at all. It's a... Uh, it's a lot more muted but less than than this one and you got the neon yellow which oh boy that's really neon you can tell the neon colors are really neon but they're not they're quite see-through still and this one is very pale as well looks a bit similar to that one And this is the white, which obviously doesn't show. Then we go into the colors that really 
got my attention and why I got this set. And this is kind of disappointing. I'm hoping I like the other colors better. It's really pale. Like it's not like the yellow at all. I was hoping for a lot of pinks. This is more like purples or violet. My god, this one doesn't show at all. Hmm. This is a disappointing pink. Okay, this one is a nice bright red. This would be a perfect red for Christmas time. I like that one as well. See, that's the type of pigment that was hoping for the pinks. Because I do have some of these colors already in other um, companies. Okay, this is a bit of a pink, but a lot of red in it. Uh, so we're eight down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're here now. Okay, this one is nice. That's a nice one. It's still, it's still a bit of violet in it, but it, there's a lot of pink. That's very ordinary. This one is nice as well. These more purples. And a dark purple. I'm really disappointed with these ones. I don't know if it's because the water hasn't had time to sink into the watercolor because it just feels it just feels like I was left left hanging I don't know it's not at all what I was hoping for I was hoping for like more more like these type of colors or like that like you could see these here But I mean, I'm not, I didn't spend a whole lot of money, so obviously this is not the top quality. Uh, it's just, it's just a fun set to play with. Oh, I like that color. This is my type of color. Now let's see with the neon green how that one acts. Oh, I like that one. It dries a bit darker than, than what it was originally. Oh, this one is really nice. It's a nice lime green. So is this one. These are very similar but a bit different. They are similar to what I used here actually. And I just realized I'm putting water on top of my other sheet. Um, that's a cool color as well. There's some there's some really nice colors for the, the amount of money 
that's invested it does have a lot of colors that's a really nice blue okay so we've got all of these swatched out let's put a I know that's not what it's supposed to be used for but I don't want to let's use one of those cheap papers they supplied and turn the page so that I can continue the swatching because I do want to finish doing them uh, so we've got eight down one two three four five six seven eight so we're here that's a nice blue as well yeah I, I wish the 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 pinks would have reacted like the blues because I mean look at that blue isn't that beautiful it's kind of turquoise All the blues are much better than the pinks, which is really sad. <laughs> See, the purple is not... Well, maybe if I put more. Oh, I like that one. That's a nice, deep, rich a key type of green similar but a little bit lighter so for someone like me that doesn't like mixing their paint uh, colors to make their own this is like a really fun set because there's a lot of different options here oh that's nice That's really nice. I'll try to find the set in, um, cause I purchased it from Amazon Canada. So I'll try to find it on Amazon USA and link it below if you're interested. I like that one a lot too. Yeah, there's some nice browns. Oh, beautiful. Look how rich that is. This is kind of a nice gray. I'm always looking for grays and I've got only one set in my that has a nice gray so this is going to be nice. And this is the black. It's not all that dark though. So overall I'm quite pleased with my purchase. I mean there's some really nice colors in here um, and for the price that I paid it's I think it's really reasonable. Some are really vibrant. I just wish that the pinks were more like the blues. Or even like this yellow. It's like really nice. Like I, lo I love that yellow. I love these orange. These two are pretty cool. This one got a lot darker, which is kind of nice. But these here were really disappointing. And that's the whole reason I got this set. <laughs> oh, well, what can you do? Uh, but I'm really happy with the rest because the browns are really cool. The gray is really beautiful. Uh, it's got some really awesome colors. So I'm quite happy with this. I hope that uh, this is something that was interesting to you guys. I'm uh, looking forward to reading your comments, knowing what you think about it. From what I see here, this was a company that was started in 1971 and yeah, their chart goes up to 2018, but I, they're still in operation, obviously. 
Uh, it's kind of cool that it has this little plastic to protect the rest of you. Yeah, overall I think it's a really, really cool purchase, especially if you're a beginner or you want to offer this to uh, someone that's that's a beginner. Um, or if, if you just like having a lot of colors, like I do. <laughs> and being able to choose from different uh, different sets because obviously like even even this like I don't have pinks that are like this so it's it's pretty cool I'm just like very disappointed with that one oh well so hope this was good for you guys and that you got something out of it and I'm looking forward to reading your comments don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already um, I, I, I show fun stuff at least I think I show fun stuff and all kinds of different content so I think it's uh, it's it's fun so subscribe thumbs up I leave comments I love reading them and I love answering questions if there's any so that's it bye